come to pass. Come on. I firmly believe that we are on the brink of a breakthrough like never before. That the most of the time when we get to that brink, we have gave up in time past. Come on. And the reason we give up when we get to that what we call a break or when we get to that breaking place or when we give up and receive that blessings, come on, all of a sudden, the enemy wants to come in and he wants to attack our mind. Oh, come on. He wants to attack our spirit and he wants to tell you, you can't do it. You're too old. You're too poor. You're too broke, busted, and disgusting. But oh, that I come to say one thing tonight. That's about the change in the atmosphere. I feel it about the shield tonight for some of you tonight. You come tonight searching and looking and saying, if it be so, if it be so, I come to tell you tonight it is so. And God is a God of love, and God is a God that will bless if you will depend upon Him. Hallelujah. So we begin to focus. If we're dreaming, our visions, the number one thing that you and I wake up every day and the enemy we fight is a thing called time. Time can be your friend or time can be your enemy. Time can be a promoter or time can be you. Come on. And so all we've got to understand is, is that we weigh, that we manage. In other words, T.D. Jakes said years ago that we maximize our time and begin to weigh it out the way things will begin to fall in place and we begin to walk as time says, do this now, don't do this now. Come on. We like the I do's, but we don't like the I don'ts. So what happens is, we've got all of these things going on in our mind. Everybody here tonight, no matter what your age is, has a dream, has a vision. Come on. If you don't have a dream in life or a vision, then tonight I will leave this house until you begin to pray and ask God to show you and give you a dream or a vision that will advance the kingdom of God. So what we've got to do is, is we've got to start 